Do you remember any of your stories at all? Not really. You probably got, but you're going to remind me, aren't you? And after Wednesday's 11-1 humiliation at the hands of the Waterloo Warriors, Ryerson Ram hockey coach Brian Jones said his team needs more practice. <laughs> no, shh, never mind. Well, I guess I'm like most kids growing up, you want to play in the National Hockey League. I don't, I certainly didn't grow up saying, oh, I want to write in the National Hockey League, mm -hmm. I want to play, but it was pretty abundantly clear by the time I got to my teenage years that I wasn't nearly good enough to, to do that. Well, what I first remember is how difficult it was to get in. Um, I applied and, and didn't actually make the cut. <laughs> it was real late in the summer before I found out that I was actually going. Most of my best eye-opener stories I can't tell. And if I told you, I'd have to kill you. But it was, it, that, again, that was a lot of fun too, where you, you basically stayed up all night to put out the paper, and, and when, even when once the paper was put out, you still stay up all night. The actual award that, that, uh, that I'm getting is the Elmer Ferguson Award, which is a Professional Hockey Writers Association Award. And while it's acknowledged and recognized by the Hall of Fame, it's certainly not the same as being inducted in the Hall of Fame. I mean, the players get inducted into the Hall of Fame. But, so I, I like to make that distinction. I'm still extremely honored and it's, it's awesome. I had so much respect for, for hockey writers when I was a kid growing up in Toronto um, to read uh, Milt Dunnell or Red Burnett and Frank Orr and uh, um, Rex McLeod and uh, Scott Young and the, the list goes on and on, Trent Frayne. So um, it, it is an honor to, uh, to get that award. And we've got one for you. Bob McKenzie, done deal? Uh, yeah, pending the trade call, you've always got to be a little careful on trade deadline day. You kind of throw the rules out the window a little bit. But uh, pending a trade call, the New York Rangers will trade Ryan Callahan, a first-round pick and a second-round pick, to the Tampa Bay for Marty San Luis. Um, if you're going to, quote-unquote, be an insider or somebody who tries to get people to tell things to you that they probably shouldn't, mm -hmm. is, is probably just trust. And the only, there's no substitute for sort of experiencing that where people give you information that maybe you don't use the first time and they see that they can trust you with that information and, and then they feel comfortable giving you stuff that you can use down the road. I'm a process driven guy. I just, you know, the old cliches that coaches use all the time with players. It's, you know, it's not about the, the destination. It's about the journey. Well, that's true. You, you got to sort of do things the right way. And if you do all the things fundamentally as a reporter, um, at the end of the day, you end up with a pretty good day.